It's just a great recreational activity to do that's inexpensive and um, that will pretty much always give you a high level of satisfaction and fun. Um, originally, uh, I had a friend that introduced me to disc golf um, right when I got into college. He, uh, there was a course that we had at the University of Texas at Tyler, and uh, he basically kind of just showed me the ropes, and you know, my first time playing it, of course I was awful like anyone um, that plays a sport for the first time. Um, but what really hooked me in was um, you know, seeing how good he was and like having that desire to, to like be able to throw as accurately as him and because it felt like it wouldn't be too hard to pick up too quickly. Uh, to anyone new, uh, new to disc golf, the advice I would give is to not get frustrated after your first game or even like your second or third. Because uh, for me, um, you know, my first game I shot like a plus 15 for my score, uh, which it's the same as golf with par. Uh, typically a par 3 is the most average holes, um, so hitting a plus 15 on an 18-hole course, that's pretty, pretty bad. Um, but pretty much by the time I'd played 10 games even, uh, I was down up to like a plus 2 and probably 20 games, um, you know, I was starting to get into the negatives. And you know, now I've only been playing for about 3 or 4 years and you know, most games I finish uh, around, somewhere around negative 2 to negative 10 on an 18 hole course and um, so just stick with it you know don't don't give up right away uh, you know watch watch some YouTube videos that go over throwing techniques and you know record yourself and compare yourself and, and how you're throwing and see what what's wrong with your technique because the most important thing in disc golf uh, is it's not like raw power it really is just technique and hitting that technique right if you can get the form down you'll get the distance and the accuracy you need. I think disc golf has the potential to be uh, bigger than, than traditional golf. Uh, the reason for that is because it's, it's a cheaper sport to play, to get into. Uh, the, the greens fees are cheaper, you don't need as much land, and the ability of anyone can play from as young as three, four years old to as old as 80 years old, you know, depending on if you want to play or not, whether you like it or not. So I think the future of disc golf doesn't have a limit on how big it can be.